Hello, this is JoJoke for JoJoke Central, bringing you day two of QuakeCon 2018. First off, we are going to wrap up the Elder Scrolls Legends Master Series Finals, as I said yesterday. The official Twitter account will be noted in the description, as that's where I got this information. So, in the top eight bracket, Kara Console and Fierce Infinity competed, and Kara Console moved on. Santos Vela and TDC Jason competed to leave TDC Jason left. Please don't hack me. And Person of Secrets competed to leave. Please don't hack me left. Tomer Corey and Folder competed to let Folder win. Next, Kara Console and TDC Jason competed for Kara Console to win. Please don't hack me and Folder competed to have Please don't hack me move on to the finals with Kara Console. After bringing it to game 5, Please don't hack me won the Master Series, bringing home $20,000 for himself. Next, the keynote starts with Tim Willits, id Software's studio director. He announces that every he announces that he has been at every QuakeCon since his first one 23 years ago. He says that it will be the biggest QuakeCon yet with new looks, new everything. He states there will be more of everything, more attendees, more people in the BYOC, more games to play, more activities and panels. He goes he goes on to start things off by greeting everyone who is watching both live and on the internet. He thanks everyone and he's welcome, but he thanks the volunteers in particular, who he says are the most important to the entire event. New Blood Fan Guru Fixation Gaming, Pico, Pecos Pete's, Alienware, Attic Space Games, Balls Guar, Guar, Guarana, sorry if I mispronounced that, Corsair Steel Series. EKWB, Fractal Design, Mavs Gaming, Ventrilo, Modders Void Warranty Incorporated, More Fun Comics and Games, MSI, PPCS, Razor Solar Flare Games, State Farm, Crazy Pro Gear, Tournament, NVIDIA, Toink, V1 Tech, and Meeple Solutions are all sponsors. Ventrilo is giving up giving away up to thirty thousand dollars to anybody who goes to the event there will be a hundred tickets a hundred tickets given away and each person has a chance to win ten thousand dollars just out of nowhere but they have to be at the block party on saturday night he announces that there will be a quake champions 2v2 open which is going on as he says it and there will be a a hundred and seventy five thousand dollar prize pool for it and then the 1v1 Duel Showdown the next day will feature a top t top 16 of the 2v2 Open. The winner will get $25,000. He states that everything from QuakeCon will be posted on FanGuru, which he says is the best information to get. And the best place to get information from QuakeCon. I haven't downloaded and tried FanGuru for myself, so I can't say if he's right. He announces that they have teamed up with several charities, both local and international, including American Red Cross, Gamers Outreach, Extra Life, MP, Cook Children's, Stack Up, Dallas Pets Alive, One Up on Cancer, and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. You can donate to all of these in person at the event or go to Bethesda.net, which will be noted in the description, so you can make your donation to any of these charities if you choose. Dallas Pets Alive is giving away free t-shirts at the event if you donate to them in person from QuakeCon. And, Eric, and the American Red Cross is giving away Quake-themed cooling towels. So after all this talk, he welcomes Pete Hines onto the stage. So Pete Hines, a senior vice president for Bethesda, talks about the E3 show from back in June. He talks about the Isle of Madness expansion for the Elder Scrolls Legends. And then he invites Todd Howard onto the stage, who announces that he has brought in Escalation Studios to become the Dallas branch of Bethesda Game Studios. He brings out Mark Tardiff and Tom Mustaine, who reflect on their paths to Escalation and what they have done with Bethesda, and that they are thankful for being able to work with Bethesda and become the Dallas branch. 
After they leave, Andre and Joshua, the community directors for Quake Champions, announce that double daily rewards all month long for August, the new champion Death Knight, and that Quake Champions is now permanently free to play. They announce a free 2018 QuakeCon gun for anybody that plays Quake Champions during QuakeCon 2018. So go get that if you want to play Quake Champions. They announce a limited edition Scale Bearer statue which will be available from GameStop. And anybody who got swag bags at QuakeCon will get 20% off the statue if they choose to purchase one. And then Matt Furgor and Gina Bruno come onto the stage on behalf of Elder Scrolls Online, and they announced the Wolf Hunter and Merkmire expansions for the Elder Scrolls Online, as well as a free trial for the Elder Scrolls Online, which lasts until August 15th. So go participate in that. Wolf Hunter will launch on Monday, August 13th, and Merkmire will launch later this year. Tim Willits from id Software and Mag Magnus Nedforce from Avalanche, announced Rage 2's open world acts, aspects, car mechanics, convoy events, and more, all with the Eden Assault trailer at the end. And saving the best for last, executive producer Marty Stratton and creative director Hugo Martin show off over 15 minutes of Doom Eternal gameplay to QuakeCon. They talk about their destructible demons philosophy, which gives the demons all that much more realism. And when you shoot them, certain parts of their body will fly off. It just feels more realistic and better. And that makes a Doom Slayer even more of a badass. And that there will be so, and also there will be much more story and locations than the previous 2016 game. We're shown the ballista, super shotgun, combat shotgun, plasma rifle, and rocket launcher as weapons that will be free featured in Doom Eternal. We are shown the Gunner, Mancubus, Arachnotron, Pain Elemental, Doom Hunter, and Marauder enemies. In the trailer revealing the gameplay, the Slayer explores Hell on Earth, and in the later half of the gameplay, we are shown the, the invasion mechanic for just a few seconds, in which players are able to online, play as demons, and invade people's campaigns, and pose a real challenge to, to others' campaigns. In the last clip of the gameplay, the Slayer arrives in Phobos, where he meets an archvile. He, he pulls out what looks like the Crucible from the last game, but it is not. It looks like it, but it isn't. And then that puts the keynote of QuakeCon 2018 to the close. So here's a surprise announcement. On the official Doom Twitter, which you can look up yourself, which will be noted in the description as well, they announced that Doom Eternal will be coming to the Nintendo Switch somehow. Panic button's working on this one, and I know I'm getting it on Switch. So... This has been JoJo for JoJo Central. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you want. Dislike if you really want. Telling comment telling me I need to pre-order Doom Eternal on PC and not Switch. And share this video with your friends so this kind of genuine content can make the rounds. Again, this has been JoJo for JoJo Central. Have a good rest of QuakeCon and have a good one.